with meteorologist Kevin Phelps. Well, we're off to a damp and drizzly start here this morning from Walcott to right to the I-74 bridge and River Drive Moline out to I-80 at Brady. You'll probably have to use the windshield wipers, but more so from the splashback from the cars in front of you. Otherwise, most of the rain that we have falling here today is not going to uh, amount to much more than maybe a hundredth of an inch, and a lot of it is quite thick here, at least in the Quad Cities at the moment. We'll start to see this clear up here uh, after sunrise. So we're hanging out at 45 in Makoka, 50 at the moment in Kiwani, 46 as you head out the door in Burlington, and we're starting to see those winds pick up now from the west and northwest. So this is going to help keep temperatures fairly steady here over the next few hours, and eventually these winds will calm down later this evening, and that will set the stage for some quieter weather conditions here as we head into Friday and into Saturday. So the only areas where we're actually having measurable rain right now is really up into Joe Davies County. Uh, aside from that, it's just some patchy drizzle here the rest of the way. Again, probably wrapping up around 7, 8 o'clock this morning, and the reason being our area of low pressure starts to scoot off into parts of Indiana. Indiana and lower Michigan here later on this afternoon where we get this window of sunshine. I expect some milder air. In fact, you get to the mid 50s in Sterling and Kiwani today, while the rest of the area, especially along and west of the Mississippi, will be under cloudy skies. So you're probably down to the 40s and 50s for afternoon highs. All this should eventually clear up here on Friday, leading to sunshine in the afternoon. Widespread highs in the mid to upper 50s, and this should be a start again of a quieter and likely warmer stretch of weather, although exact track a, a little bit hesitant to bring in the mild air here on Saturday. I think we're all going to be closer to to 60 as opposed to the mid 50s just with the way everything's kind of setting up here heading into our weekend. Speaking of some college football, if you're heading down to Champaign, a beautiful afternoon, a 130 kick, mid 50s there for kickoff and pretty much in the 50s there throughout much of the game as those southeast winds will gust close to 20 miles per hour. If you're heading out to Ames, this is a night kick, 7 o'clock over on Fox. Still pretty mild. You're in the upper 50s for pregame, and even after sunset, you don't cool off a whole lot either. You're still in the upper 40s, probably by the third and fourth quarter. So not too shabby here, considering uh, we're in mid to late November, or at least that's quickly approaching, as we only have a few weeks left in the college football season. So here you are as you head into Sunday, low 60s, mostly cloudy skies. Now as we get into next week, we are going to have near daily chances for precipitation, but we will also have a lot of dry hours. So the timing of these systems is still something that we're trying to iron out. At the same time, if we have these systems arriving early in the morning or overnight when temperatures are in the 30s, we might have some snowflakes mixing in for the first time this season. Moments in History of Moline is brought to you 